Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Art Plus Life Resonates With, a monthly program which responds to themes of the permanent and special exhibitions of the National Gallery of Singapore, bringing the collection and exhibitions to life through music. We are the Philippine Madrigal Singers, and today we will be performing three specially selected pieces for this particular project in a manner that has become normal during this pandemic. We had to adjust and adapt our praxis to the demands of the times. We continue to meet for rehearsals and performances, but only virtually. We all had to initiate ourselves to the challenges posed by doing things physically separated from one another but also surprised ourselves with the possibilities of accomplishing our mission without sacrificing the standards we've worked so hard to set for years. We have chosen to perform songs that we think evoke the very same sentiments captured by the artworks that we've selected to weigh our thoughts on. Upon looking at the work of Arturo Luz, entitled Old City, what immediately comes to mind is the city of Manila. We remember the glorious days of Intramuros, called the walled city of Manila. And then we are brought to see how the entire city became what it is now, congested, seemingly lost, confused, eclectic, but also very rich in converging cultures like one whole fabric of interwoven, interlaced threads of individual stories. The artwork also evokes in us a sense of looking at something that represents us as individuals. The old city keeps on struggling to find its identity, its glory. There is a kind of restlessness in the city. It is this restlessness that also manifests in the lives of those who come to live there. In this urban jungle, individuals sometimes find themselves restless or lost. Their experiences in the city or of the city become a kind of burning of some sort, a kind of purgation that people think themselves tormented and without refuge. This is the reason we chose to respond to this work by performing Francisco Feliciano's Restless. We dedicate this music to this old city that Luz captured in his painting, our city, that also represents and contains our memories, our stories, our souls. Francisco Feliciano is honored as a national artist for music, while Arturo Luz is honored as a national artist for visual arts.
One may also be led to think of fire, of burning, when one looks at Hernando Ocampo's Dancing Mutants. Ocampo, also a Philippine national artist for visual arts, has been known to use such lines and figures that are thought to be reminiscent of the flora and fauna of the archipelago. But in this particular work, there seems to be a character that practically attacks our senses, accuses us of our lack of self-control, of our evolution. Dancing mutants, he calls us. We see it as a critique of how we strive to better our lives by learning much to the point of developing technology, but in the process come to abuse this power of intellect, this power of knowledge. This produces detrimental results to our sense of humanity. For this work, we chose to perform Josefino Toledo's musical take on parts of a poem that Philippine national artist for theater and literature, Rolando Tino, wrote, Alitapta. In this, we hear a kind of struggle between communion with nature and the continuous desire for wisdom and scientific knowledge. In the song, we see the images of the alitaptap, or firefly, and the bulalakaw, or the meteor, which capture the attention of man, almost like an obsession, a kind of fixation. Man strives so hard to capture whatever catches his endless, insatiable curiosity, even if it means the imbalance or destruction of nature. The text courageously shares an insight. Katalinuhan ay parang rosas. Intellect is like a rose. Man's intellect may be deemed beautiful, but also dangerous, like a rose. <laughs> Ah! 
Jose Rizal is the Philippines' foremost hero. Fabian de la Rosa, the artist who painted this portrait of Rizal, was 27 years old when Rizal was executed. This moment and the events of those years leading to the revolution would definitely be embedded in the heart of the artist, de la Rosa. Though he has not been recognized as a national artist for visual arts, Fabian de la Rosa is known as the master of genre. He was an uncle and mentor to Fernando Amorsolo, who was one of the first recipients of the National Artist Award in 1972. Rizal's greatest weapons were his words, especially his two novels, Noli Me Tangere and El Filibusterismo, which have not only served as sparks that ignited the revolution leading to independence, but also inspired many other works of art. One such inspiration was a musical composed by National Artist for Music, Ryan Kayabyab, 
with a libretto written by National Artist for Literature, Bienvenido Lumbera. We leave you with this arrangement of a medley of songs from the Noli Me Tangere, the musical. Through it, we look back at images of Rizal and his contemporaries, but also see this vision of what lies ahead.
You've enjoyed the performance and the music selection inspired by the artworks which are currently exhibited in the UOB Southeast Asia Gallery at National Gallery Singapore. If you ever have the chance to visit the gallery, we encourage you to go down and see these works in person. If not, you can always view them online at the gallery's website. Thank you again for joining us this afternoon. Goodbye!